back to a new episode of Backstage Features. I'm Gracie, and today we are joined by Flora Lee Tiemann, who plays Livia Carew in The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for being here. First off, I want to say congratulations on the film. I know the release is coming up very soon. What's that been like getting to film this, getting to go to the premieres, and now getting to hear fans' reactions to it? Um, I think it's a really special experience because filming um, something from a book is always connected to everyone knowing like all the characters, everyone having expectations, everyone being so happy uh, and excited for the movie, which feels really nice. And um, for me personally, even if I have just a really, really small part, it's still such a big experience. And I feel so honored to um, for having the opportunity to be a part in it and and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to get to know all of the people and uh, to experience the set. And it was really, really um, nice. Yeah, a great experience. I have to ask, were you a fan of this franchise and the books before booking your role? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think everyone knows it, but um, I like everything that has to do with kind of fantasy or like different worlds and I like to dive into different worlds so this was also um such a big thing for me to see life um a world that before just happened like in my head you know so like seeing all the costumes the locations um the props was amazing yeah definitely and I'm a huge fan of this franchise specifically the new book as well what do you think that book lovers and, as you said, dystopian futuristic lovers will take from this film? Um, a lot. I mean, I don't want to say anything right now, you know, but um, I can say that for me, after watching the movie for the first time, I felt actually really nauseous. <laughs> even by knowing the story, you know, because it was so moving. It was really moving, which is a good sign and um, a lot of different layers to it. Besides that, obviously, it is really brutal, you know, uh, the the story in itself. Um, it's still um, emotionally heavy to watch, for me at least. So I took a lot from it. Um, and I think people will too. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely. And I know this set was super fun. I've talked to a few of your castmates as well. But do you have a favorite moment or memory from your time on this set? Mm, oh, well, that's hard to pick one. But I think in in general, the best part uh, where the people, we were a big cast, a lot, like a big group also of people shooting together. And I made uh, really best friends that are my best friends today. So it is, um, that was the most lovely experience of the set, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you consider your character more of a songbird or a snake? Oh, <laughs> probably a snake. <laughs> Okay. All right. Was there some inspiration when you were bringing her to life? Mm. No, I think I just tried to like connect to that fantasy world of capital, which is like super far away from my reality, you know, but um. No, we had the vibe, I think, because we were all in this together, all in our costumes. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And if you could describe this film in three words, what would they be? Oh, um, moving, brutal, and exciting. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, my last question for you, obviously this release is exciting, but do you have any future projects that you can hint at or talk about? Um, I mean, the last that came just out is The Griffin, which is a fantasy series also. <laughs> so 
I mean, fancy, I guess. No, but um, that was really cool too. And um, the next one coming out will be like an art house movie about um, yeah, really conservative family and their values. Also, really moving story. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see it. Congratulations on everything again. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you too.